Why you don't act like you don't know? No, baby, don't do like that. Girl, come feed me, don't be stingy. Why you don't do like that? No, baby, don't do like that. Oh, I want you to know. Say I like the way you do. I you sabi do the dance. Say you this with everything. Go, 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 baby, you know. Say you got it, no be small. Say be told me, no shake, I get this control. Girl, I like the way you do. Hi guys, welcome to Chick Chat Live. My name is Cornelia and on today's episode we are talking about whether or not how you dress helps you mark your territory with your spouse. And our hot topic of the day is it no longer takes a village to raise a child. I have some lovely beautiful guests in the studio with me today, one of which is Irene Sirmist who is CEO extraordinaire, <laughs> beauty entrepreneur of the Nail Studio. I also have Kayla, my 6.9 FM's broadcaster. <laughs> and Shesha Doyle and Gujobi, who is the CEO of the Fun Box. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So let's just get straight into it. First it. topic of the day. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start with you, Shesha. Please do. <laughs> <Yeah>. And <laughs> let, let me explain the, the, the question or the topic. Okay. Um, when your husband, perhaps, or your partner, or whoever you're in a relationship with, has a lady who is ever so present in his life, it could be a business partner. It could be just somebody that maybe travels with him or is at work. Yeah. And, you know, she's a spicy little thing. She's dressed, you know, tight and right. Everything is hanging in the same places, in the, in the right place. Do you feel, should I use the word tensioned or threatened by um, women like that that are close to your partner when you know what his type is? Not off the bat. Not off the bat. I, I think it depends on the, the lady herself. Um, I mean... I'm not generally the jealous type, but you know I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch her. See, you know, see what she's about. You know, if she's you know extra disrespectful in front of me, I, you know, like extra touchy and all those things you don't have to be, um, then you know I will buck up exactly. But if she's cool, you know, she's greeting, she's nice, she's you know she's respectful of me as his wife when we're in the same space, then. I, I, I don't find that to be a problem off the bat. People say this thing, the world is visually judgmental, right? Mm-hmm. So you can't blame a guy. Even I, as a, as a woman, when mm-hmm. I see certain women, like, I just look at the body and you're like, ah, it's getting it's fine. Or, you know true. what I mean? Yes. Sure. So I can see that it's a natural thing for you to be drawn to somebody who just always looks good. Yes. yes. Don't you feel like it makes you want to step your game up? It tensions me. It doesn't necessarily threaten me. If a guy yes. sort of, if I know that a guy likes Mm-hmm. how a particular girl looks. Mm-hmm. I want to look how I look, but, but I still want to... Yeah, hey, exactly. exactly. Or at least yeah. measure up. Yes. So do you feel like the way you dress also helps you mark that territory? Like if the guy is like, well, my wife still holds her own. You know what I mean? Okay, I think to an extent, mm-hmm. it does help mark your territory. But I'm one of these people that I think that really... Let's tell the truth. Women rarely dress for men. men. We dress for other women. Yep. Exactly. Let's tell the mm-hmm. truth. I believe that you should look good for yourself. Mm -hmm. For him, yes. It's a self-confidence issue. You understand? If I look good, then I feel better about myself. Nobody really wants to roll out the house. You know know there are days where you you may roll out the house in your tracksuit bottoms, Mm -hmm. one torn t-shirt with bleach Mm stains, and even your body language. No, but it's true. Your body language that day, you're hunched, you're thinking, oh gosh, you're carrying, you know, let me not bump into any of my enemies Mm -hmm. today. You know? (laughs) It's true. It's Mm -hmm. true. So you should really do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, But at the same time, I don't necessarily agree with dressing for your man because Mm -hmm. it's not realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, you are who you are. Look Mm -hmm. good. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Be confident. Mm -hmm. But that whole dressing for a man, the the whole idea of it actually in itself makes me feel uncomfortable. And another thing that I find quite interesting is why do people never say men dress for your women? Mm. Good point. Because they you just know, let it all hang out. out. Exactly. Exactly. Rolling. Exactly. 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 Some men are very conscious. No, no, no. They're kind of too conscious. Men are conscious, yeah. men are conscious but mm-hmm. are they actively yeah. dressing for their wife? Why, what, why? Or yeah. for their girlfriend? Yeah. They know that their wife would like this. I, I, mm. know, I know some men. Do you think? Like I know very few very men that do that. I they do. They don't admit it. They don't admit it. Say you're going on a first date. Or you're going somewhere where you know there's going to be a certain kind of guy there. Do you dress according to... To my date? Yes. Yes. 
I mean, to pull the guy in. You know what I mean? Is there a particular way you feel you should dress? Like, if you wanted a guy to, if you liked a particular yes. guy, would you wear like what you're wearing today? Like a t-shirt, jeans, yeah. and comfortable. You know what? To be honest, I'm. This is that's, 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 that's how I am. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just yeah. like to be myself. Mm-hmm. Um, when I'm whenever I'm going to date or whatever, of course I make an effort. I wouldn't yeah. say, I wouldn't go sloppy. Even if I wear this, mm-hmm. okay. So maybe I would have. My the, the time I went on a date with a guy, um, mm-hmm. he, you know, he had met me and then he said, "Let's go out." And I, I was from work and mm-hmm. I was wearing sneakers and mm-hmm. I would have swapped to heels, but I wasn't mm-hmm. just. You know, I liked him. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. And and then when I got into the car, he looked at my feet. Oh, like, like you were wearing slippers? Well, no, not slippers. Sneakers. Okay. And sneakers, he was okay. Like, so he turned out to be the, the guy who likes his a particular, woman, yeah. you know, like heels. heels yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, yo, you know, this is really who I am, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, so I wouldn't really, I, I would if I find that he likes it. So the next time that I was going on a date with him, mm-hmm. I wore the heels mm-hmm. just so because he likes it. Likes it. Yeah, I, I would do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anybody gonna be doing that every day? Not every like, time, yeah. Yeah. Not every time. But yeah. if he appreciates me the way I am, you know, and mm-hmm. says, "Okay, Kayla, you can wear," but once in a while, just to make him happy, I'm not gonna say, "Oh, because I like wearing t-shirts," um, so mm-hmm. whatever. I want to be myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. That's what relationship is all about. Just once in a while, yeah. just mm-hmm. give him something that he likes. So yeah, once in a while. Oh, yeah, okay, this is easy to say yeah. when you know clothes fit right. So you've obviously had kids, right? Yeah. And yeah. I want to talk about <laughs> the sizing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to talk about sizing <laughs> issues. <laughs> because when you're in between sizes, you're mm-hmm. sometimes you just go through, yeah, listen, right. I just want to be me. Yes. And I'm not, try- I'm actually not trying to lose weight right now. I just want to eat and, yes. and be good yes. and not have that pressure. Yes. Yeah. Um, how does that affect you as a person? And then feeling like, you know, your husband's looking at you a certain kind of way or feeling like he well, is and he's not even, you know what I mean? Well, he, he never, okay, so I can say that because I just actually got out of that phase where mm-hmm. I felt like I was bigger than I was. Mm-hmm. Um, um, in your head? In my head. Okay. Well, no. Yeah. Well, or bigger than you yeah. were before kids? Yeah, I mean, I have a mirror. I'm not uh-huh. delusional. Yeah. I know when I look good and when I don't. don't I didn't yeah. feel good. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was. Mm-hmm. I, I just didn't. When I used to wear, wear really baggy, like oversized clothes, clothes. Okay. Oh, and wow. everyone would be like, gosh, you're dressing like a grandma. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm comfortable and mm-hmm. I don't need you seeing my roles and everything. Mm-hmm. I, maybe I lost a little bit of weight. Mm-hmm. Maybe it wasn't even up to one kg. Mm-hmm. But in my head, it was like 20 kg. kg. Yeah. And I started, okay, so my style is my style. I'm never going to like just show boobs. And, uh-huh. You know, yeah. I mean, you're not body conscious. The, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. But in terms of even within my style, being comfortable enough, like today, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'm sitting down, but mm-hmm. I'm wearing, I, yeah. you know, I wouldn't do that like probably two years ago. Right. But my hubby never like brought it to my attention. Mm-hmm. But he did when I started dressing like this. Yeah, right. Like today, he complimented he's like, it. Yes. Okay. He's like even today. He's like, ah. he's like, you should wear things like this more, more often. often. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, well, that's I, a yeah. nice way of yeah, men to like yeah. subtly tell you like yeah. you know yeah. like, this is the way you should go. Well yeah, yeah. 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 I want to ask if okay. she did mm-hmm. get if she became an imminent threat like if she started getting closer mm-hmm. and you felt like she was being maybe not acknowledging you know there are some women that are just yeah, like that yes, they, they don't they acknowledge do. the wife yeah. or the girlfriend yeah. Yeah. they just kind of just feel they have and, and they owe you nothing in in all fairness mm-hmm. but if you felt just like it training. was start, yes just home <laughs> train <laughs> if you felt like it was getting to the point where okay she's getting a little bit too close for comfort who do you check or is that a self-confidence thing where you have to be sure of yourself in your relationship mm-hmm. and not necessarily be worried about the, I have to reference this, the edible caterings, because when that story came out, oh everybody God. kept saying, and I don't know if this is good or bad, everybody kept saying, why was, you know, Tiwa threatened by edible catering, that she was obviously nothing. People do think that way. Mm. So should we be okay in ourselves knowing that we are the wives? Or is there a point where you are like, nah, wrong is wrong. If no. it smells funny, it is okay. funny. Yeah, no, I, I believe that if it, it, as you said, if it smells funny, it is funny. Yeah. And I also think that You should protect your home. Mm -hmm. If a man is going to step out Mm -hmm. in his marriage, the most likely person to do it with is a Mm co-worker. That's who he spends the most amount of time with. And as I said, I will check him because if I'm being disrespected in front of him and Mm -hmm. it's okay with that, it's a major issue. Mm -hmm. And it's something that he wouldn't tolerate. Mm -hmm. If I had an overly friendly work husband, Mm -hmm. as you call it, and, you know, he's hugging (laughs) me for a bit too long and he stops greeting my husband... It's a major issue. I know mm-hmm. women that had to stop work because of stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I don't don't be afraid to check anybody because at mm-hmm. the end of the day, the husband is yours. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know. Exactly. But you know how men sometimes they mm-hmm. do this thing of she greeted you, so she's greeting you with half mouth, side eye, 
Mm-hmm. Or she's in her nose, yeah, mm-hmm. no. to kind of yes. you know you know what it means. Yes. And he's saying, but she said she greeted mm-hmm. you. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. And he's not doing the needful because he can't really cut her off because she is in his life and they I, need to be together. I get it. You know what I mean. I yeah. get it. But it's one of those things that doing the needful. Mm-hmm. I'll let him know it's not working for me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not working for me. Mm-hmm. And if you don't do the right thing by mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. it's going to become a major issue. Mm-hmm. Yes. And my issue will be with her. Mm. And you won't like it. Mm. So, for the sake so of So you will peace, take matters into your hands. I will hands. take matters into my hands. Okay. Do you think it makes I it agree. easier if you know the other woman is married? Or does it not matter? It matter. Well, in this day and age, we don't know. Married and not married, we don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Let me say something here. You know, you're married. You're married. Have you ever been in a situation, because now we're talking about the man being close to a woman, where you're just close to... So the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Not, you know, it's sometimes these things aren't planned. Mm-hmm. You're just cool. You're just that developing a relationship. Because it happened to me where mm-hmm. I was dating somebody who had this person because he was, you know, he moved back kind mm-hmm. of situation, and he had this person that, you know, they were very cool based on they lived abroad Word, and all yeah. that, and, and she was female. Mm-hmm. Initially, I didn't take it as anything. There was nothing to be mm-hmm. honest, but yeah. you know, they were close. Like mm-hmm. there are things that he would say to me that I would just, you know, not listen yeah. because mm-hmm. I, yeah. I don't really care. And he had that, person. and then I was worried like why mm-hmm. are you you know always yes. talking to yes. but I, I couldn't find him because he was he mm-hmm. was being open about it but mm-hmm. i wasn't comfortable yeah. with it mm-hmm. yeah. do you know mm-hmm. but at a point i now had to you know have that conversation Station with him, him. That, okay you know what this girl i don't know what it is i know mm-hmm. that you say you guys moved yeah. back from whatever yes. but this is becoming mm-hmm. and to yeah. be honest he yes. didn't see it that way he was like oh we just mm-hmm. used to talk okay yeah. if you don't like it then i would mm-hmm. I, yes. would, I would tell but you know what the right problem is and i feel like this is the woman thing i honestly feel like Outside of the guy, maybe just not even seeing anything. Because yeah. if they're genuine yeah. friends, he's just going to go chill in her house. Yeah. I think the women, once a woman comes into the... into it's Whether it's your best friend. Because yes. it did happen to me. I was on yeah. a date once and I will never forget. I was like, this can't work. I shut it down. Yes. Yeah. Because he yes. was talking to his best friend. And at the end of the conversation, he said, oh, I love you. And then, and then touches me and says... Oh no, um, that was just my best friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 No. And, you know, so no. I'm smiling through no. No. because yeah. at the end of the day, no. yeah. it was no, free Chinese. Work, you know, no, you know, but, no, no, but can I tell you I've, I've realized one thing. It's not even necessarily when a woman comes into it. Mm-hmm. It's when a friend, a close friend of the opposite sex, comes, comes into, into it, it. Yes. Yes. Well, that, uh, because. Yeah. Yeah. It's happened with me before where, you know, I have like a super duper close friend and literally 100% platonic. He's mm-hmm. married. I'm married. I'm, you know, this is a friend of mine that, you know, it, it's a joke that we have. You know, he'll say, oh, you know, you know, you're my therapist. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, you know, if he's having a yeah. bad day at work, we can chat yeah. about that. You know, so, you know, no, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's 100% mm-hmm. platonic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Nothing, nothing, nothing on both sides. Yes. yes. But I know at one point I had to check the relationship yes, because exactly. I made my husband yes, exactly. feel exactly. And, and my husband yeah. isn't exactly. the type to say, you know, don't say it again. But just using so his expression. body language, exactly. I can tell it yes. made him feel uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. So it's one of those things that you have to pull yes. back a bit. And I know if the shoe was on the other foot mm-hmm. and it's one hundred percent platonic. It would make me feel yeah, uncomfortable yes. if he's telling her about yes. his day, yes. Yes. or you know, and even yeah. you, with, mm-hmm. even you, yeah. with that your friend, right. if you was married as a friend, you would also have to pull back, pull yes. back. Yes. to make yeah. his wife exactly feel to make his wife yes. feel comfortable. Yes, exactly. Yeah. As I said, I don't think the way you dress mm-hmm. helps you mark your territory. Mm-hmm. I think. As we've all agreed, mm-hmm. you should dress to feel good about yourself. Mm-hmm. I don't think that you should go out of your way. Mm-hmm. If, first of all, if you're, let's just say, the wifey, mm-hmm. and you're competing with in another mm-hmm. woman mm-hmm. that's not even your mm-hmm. husband's wife, yeah. that's a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not the way you dress that mm-hmm. you should be worried about. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be mm-hmm. honest with you, I, you, if you're feeling some kind of way about the relationship, mm-hmm. it goes a lot deeper than that. Mm-hmm. Let's face it, it's not really mm-hmm. men are men. Yeah. They yeah. want to step out. They'll yeah. step out. You, you might not even like what the other chick mm-hmm. looks like or dresses yeah. like. So it's not about that. But the other lady has to respect mm-hmm. your, your, place. your place. And when a woman doesn't respect your place, there's a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that means she thinks she can try you and mm-hmm. get in between. Exactly. And that's yeah. the problem. But girls, in summary, <laughs> the best thing we can all do for ourselves as women, I feel, is to wear confidence. That's I think it. that, yeah. you know, like we're all saying, dress for yourself. Yeah. Um, exactly. But I do think if you're in between sizes, 
I think that you should try and find a way to make yourself feel good if it's losing yes. a little bit of weight. Mm -hmm. And if you want to eat your chicken, girl, eat your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes yeah. you have to just take the pressure of yeah. yourself. And also on the whole being threatened by the other mm -hmm. woman or being threatened by the work wife who is so present in his life, yeah. girl... Girl, do you? Because men be doing them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I just really feel like you should focus on who you are focused on, which is yeah, yourself and your true. career and your growth. Spiritual growth. <laughs> anyway. Any type of growth. We would be right back <laughs> after the break and we're delving straight into the hot topic of the day. Yeah. Hi, guys. Topic of the day is, it no longer takes a village to raise a child. And here's the story. I was invited to my friend Nana's son's fifth birthday costume party. As I was walking in, I saw a mutual friend's nanny coming down the stairs with a rather rambunctious little boy. I could see him making monster faces and swinging his arms, pretending to be a gorilla, as I made my way to the top of the stairs where the party was. I was trying to avoid eye contact with the little rascal as he came down, but before I climbed up, the boy had reached me and punched my breast so hard and showed me his muscles and then said to his nanny, I am strong. He hit so hard, and my initial reaction was to give him a backhand, before I realized he was a friend's child. He ran off crying to his mother and told his mother I slapped him, and the drama started from there. As soon as I had settled down, his mother came to confront me about hitting her child. By the way, I had a reactionary reflex because I wasn't expecting a hard punch to my boobs, so I shoved him away. She yelled at how mean I was, and said I had no right to put hands on her child, and I should have scolded him or come to meet her. She was so angry and caused a scene, she left the event and warned me never to touch her son again, if not, I would have her to contend with. Of which I responded, if you train your child well, he wouldn't go around punching adults in the boobs. She most certainly took offence to the insinuation that she was a bad mother, and she dressed me down before leaving the event. Mothers can certainly be bizarre and deluded. Of course it became the topic of conversation for everyone. My friend Toke said to me, that this same child had been biting other kids for fun and she had to go and separate him from wrestling and biting her son earlier on at the party. She said she thinks I should apologize for touching the boy because the story can easily spiral out of control and people in general would say I should have been more restrained as the adult. Do I owe her an apology? I would have expected her to admonish her child but instead she turned on me. What should I do? Welcome back, guys. You heard how crazy that sounded, right? So I'm going to start with you, Kayla. Yay! Hmm. <laughs> hmm, 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 hmm. As they say, one dash shall never cease. No, man. That what is... do you make of this little monster boy, as no, you want to call him? You know, I, I've had... Th that, is, that is totally unacceptable, number mm -hmm. one. But I've had that experience before where, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't punched... Mm -hmm. um, but you know this 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 child or mm -hmm. these they, these children were mm -hmm. totally disrespectful, and mm -hmm. it was just so shocking to me mm -hmm. that you know children so young you yeah. know things like that could come out of their mouth. Mm -hmm. So um, I had spoken to the dad about it, mm -hmm. okay. and um, you know dad's been dads he never really so it really bothered me, and I mm -hmm. I, I don't have a very close relationship with the mom, mm -hmm. but yeah. we talk we're cool. She has mm -hmm. my number, you know, and whenever her kids, so I you know I I reached out to her yeah. and. Um, I got the blasting of my yes. life. Wow. Oh, wow. You know, I, I wasn't disrespectful. I know mm -hmm. I wasn't disrespectful to her. I just told her that this is what I noticed, that mm -hmm. for me to say this, it has been happening over and over. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, they don't greet, they talk mm -hmm. anyhow, you know, and everything. And she was like, well, you can't talk to me about my children. You can't mm -hmm. tell me how to raise my... You know, oh, and I was like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. and she was like, never ever, you know, you know, have this conversation with me anymore. I'm responsible for my children. I've always been that person anyway that mm -hmm. I don't really put, you know, delve into. I don't, I'm not treating anybody's yeah. child. Oh, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Because people, you know, react differently. Mm -hmm. The only children that I, you know, I can talk to mm -hmm. are my sister's children. children They're yeah. my children. Mm -hmm. I can discipline them. I can do whatever I want with them. Even at that, I still have to respect you know, yeah. the boundaries of, because I'm, yeah. you know, I'm not the bi biological, biological mother. You see, when we were growing up, mm -hmm. you know, it was like that. And, you know, everybody, everybody would just, mm -hmm. but yeah. no, as you, you know, we, we're learning more and, and knowing that it's, it's, dis it's actually disrespectful for mm -hmm. you yeah. to lay your hand on somebody else's child. Mm -hmm. Make your complaint. You know, I, I think I wouldn't just let a child hit me and I'll mm -hmm. walk away. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would speak to the mom, even if the mom blasts me or, mm -hmm. or says whatever, but I'll let her know that you need to do something about your mm -hmm. child. Do you understand? Yeah. I would say like this but I would just tell her that you know 
this is not this is this isn't this isn't good do you know what i mean but i think that i listen to this particular story i can actually see myself in the situation you would you would beat the child all, i won't beat the child i got some racks on me okay. <laughs> so yeah. no, i, I just can't even yeah. picture how yeah. you know painful, painful it is yeah. Yeah. so i think that the you know backhand reactionary a, like yeah. I, you know it, it's instinctive yeah. so yeah. i don't think that yeah. she meant it um but shasha how do you feel you know as a mother because you know they do that and i hope she didn't do that when you have a child thing then you would understand no. Oh, don't even bring that to me. Excuses. Yeah. How? How? Just a minute. Yeah. 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 So I want to kind of just direct this yeah. for a minute and ask about first of all the nanny. Yes. Because I feel it started from the nanny was following him behind. Yes. So do you sort of give authority to your nanny? To, because it sounds to me like the nanny didn't have authority in this case to discipline the child because the child runs off. First of all, you're yes. punching someone in the yes. Yes. You're saying I'm strong. It's a game. You know what I mean? And yeah. she's just running after him. Yeah, yeah. He, so he's no a little bit manipulative yeah. as a child. Yeah. So yeah. just is just being naughty, mi mischievous, mm -hmm. and all, <laughs> all those things. Um, completely unacceptable. First of all, do I, I don't empower my nanny to hit, oh, okay. no, mm -hmm. um, as I would not hit anyone else's child mm -hmm. on purpose. But yeah. this is a completely different scenario in that he hit her, mm -hmm. and instinctively she reacted. Mm -hmm. um, completely different. So, um, but my nanny is empowered to tell off mm -hmm. yes. and to discipline mm -hmm. in, w within reason. Exactly. I'm not yeah. saying, um, you know, mm. put him in the corner and kneel down and all those things. Mm -hmm. But there are ways, there, there are ways. When you oh, hang out with a child, mm -hmm. you know that child. So you know what to do to yeah. get to, to get that get child. The child. Um, that being said, as the mother, if I was the mother of that child and somebody said, oh, your son did that, mm -hmm. my reaction would be completely different. different. First of all, I would almost be like, Goodness gracious, what am I doing that my child is acting that way? Mm -hmm. So That's the different. shame will be on me. Mm -hmm. My apology will be to her. Mm -hmm. I am very sorry. And I will handle it. Mm -hmm. I will not give you room to be calling my child a monster. Mm -hmm. or yeah. 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 So you quickly no, tackle it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I will apologize and, you know, I will tell you, I will handle it. Trust me, mm -hmm. I will handle it. Mm -hmm. The same way my mother would handle it. Yes. Yes. My mother would just look at you and be like, okay, thank you, thank you. You know your child. Mm -hmm. yes. You know how your child well, can react. To, yeah. But to try and act like your child, your parenting is, maybe you've been traveling for a while and your yeah. child is acting mm -hmm. out. Become, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Maybe you're just missing some things and this is a wake up call. Oh, you know? yeah. I mean, you should be thankful yeah. that they're still at the age that you can correct it. Mm -hmm. You know, And this was a child, this is not a teenager. Mm -hmm. What if it's a 15 year old that's doing yeah. that? Yeah. So I want to ask you, do you mm -hmm. think that based on the way the altercation went down, mm -hmm. do you think that because she did react and it can seem as though uh -uh, she's just a child, yeah. or he's just a child, sorry, do you think that she owes the woman an apology for her reactionary background? Mm. You know, yes, I think she owes the lady an apology for the reactionary background, mm -hmm. backhand, and it was mm -hmm. reactionary. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, I think the mother handled it very badly. Yes. Mm. So the apology, so, so there's a difference. Yes. Do you think she owes her an apology before she handled it? Because I would, because before she okay, got upset, her son had already to gone mm. to mm. go mm. and mm. say mm. what he said. Yes. Yes. And then she reacted badly without necessarily hearing oh. her side of the story. Mm. So yes. after that, me personally, mm -hmm. you're not getting any apology. You know what I mean? Okay, you know what? If it was me, let's say it had been me, mm. and the mother comes up and she's screaming and how dare you, I would first of all apologize to her and say, look, I'm sorry, it was totally and utterly reactionary. I didn't mean to hit him. I would never willingly put my hands on somebody else's yes. child. Exactly. The thing about it is that he punched me, I was in pain, it was a reaction. I'm sorry. I don't even apologize. Exactly. No, no, no. I would apologize for that, for that. because in all honesty, I probably feel bad that, yeah. okay. for hitting him. And okay. he's a child. There are honestly okay. some women that really, quite frankly, they just don't care if their children are badly behaved. It really yes. doesn't bother them. I know. I, I, <laughs> no, I remember there was actually one situation I can never forget. There was a little boy. He's generally extremely badly behaved. He was trying to get my attention one day. So I just thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to ignore him. I was reading a magazine. He was trying to get my attention. Auntie, auntie, auntie. He was trying to get my my attention and then the next thing you know I just heard Ooh. Oh, yes now and then he spat on me oh now might I add this was a five-year-old child mm -hmm. and it's not only me he spat on or there were like three other people everybody got hit mm. Huh? Mm. Mm. so my first reaction is rushing no that's yeah. no, absolutely disgusting I wanted to Smacks rush him but then I just thought to myself wait no 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 you know what his mother is here hmm. Now, if I'd rushed him, am I rushing it because I mean well for him and I'm trying to discipline him, or am I rushing him out of anger? Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I grabbed him by the arm, took him to his mother, 
said to her, your son just spat at me. Yikes. Do you know what she, yeah. and she did. This is literally, I'm not lying. She just went, oh, sorry. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did, I don't even did know you, what Jesus, Jesus did. take the did wheel? You? Jesus take this yeah, wheel Jesus right now. Like <laughs> take this <laughs> wheel. I'm telling you, you know, I was so angry. Yeah. But for someone to literally just look yeah. at you. Oh my like, gosh. Mm. That's why he's so, flat lying. Like oh completely flat lying. Yeah, that aggravates was, me. What did you do? No, it was literally like somebody had thrown a bucket of mm-hmm. cold water over me. Yes. And then I suddenly thought to myself, I should have smacked his little I would have felt better if I had him. I was just like, Mm-hmm. Yes, it's, it's not. not his it's, fault. Not. Mm-hmm. it's not. It's really not his fault. Yeah, not. because you can so, tell where it's coming from. Exactly. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you know what? I just looked at her and just thought to myself, well, she will reap what she will so. Yes. The person I feel yes. sorry for in mm-hmm. all of this is this child. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because he's a five year old. Mm-hmm. He spat at people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just, mm-hmm. yeah. sorry. There wasn't even, why did you, you do it? Yeah. It was literally, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you see, I can't take that non yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I want to ask you, um, just before yeah. we summarize the chat, mm-hmm. what role do you think Nena herself, because Nena is the organizer of this party, mm-hmm. and I can imagine that when I get home, if I was either party, yeah. I would feel bad that this, this happened, happened at, at Nena. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like Nena, you know, you just don't want drama. You know, everybody's yeah, going to be calling so, everybody, yeah. hey, did you hear what happened? Ah, did you see this person and this person? Did you see, you know what I mean? Yeah. What role do you think... Nena should play or the friend should play in terms of apologizing to her or do you think it's Nena's role to kind of try and based on what happened because you know it's kiddy you know it's yeah. kid sensitive yeah what, what would you do I, if you were Nena if I were Nena um, depending on the relationship I have with them I would definitely you know speak to them about it you know both of them separately. yes both of them separately about mm-hmm. it you know these things happen and mm-hmm. you know sorry I, I would try to make yeah. amends because at the end of the day like you like we all said you know it's that he, he's a child mm-hmm. do you understand and um, just kind of let them see reason, mm-hmm. um, you know, and not even escalate it from, you know, yeah. where it is. Because, I, you know, it's my party, it's yeah. here, it's, you know, I, I don't want that whole situation going. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's, a kid, it's a kiddies party and anything mm-hmm. can happen yeah. uh, there. So, yes, I would speak to, you know, both parties and try mm-hmm. to calm uh, the situation Shut now. Down. But I will gossip small. Yeah, I'll now, just wow. hey, <laughs> Linda, why don't, you know, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> Shasha, do you want to add anything to that? <laughs> no, I mean, I, you, you, I was that auntie that used to check kids. Mm-hmm. You walk into a room, you No greet. nonsense, yeah. Yes. You greet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. T- till today, I feel the same way mm-hmm. with my children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have to greet. Mm-hmm. And I have no problem disciplining them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, I would have smacked that little boy in the bottom. Speed. But uh-huh. you are not, you're, you're, <laughs> a nice, you're the nice auntie. Yeah. You're, you're, the you're the nice auntie. I'm the nice auntie, you but are. I also check it. Yes. Mm-hmm. However, the only reason why I didn't is because literally, I just thought about it for a second. Yeah. Because if I rush this boy, I'm yes. throwing it out of my hand. That's true. Yeah. 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 Yes. But not even that, though. You know, even better, his mother is sitting there. Exactly. Right. I, I thought that's why the mother. That's the only reason why. Because yeah. trust me, if somebody brings my son to me and says, Exactly. Oh my gosh, exactly. right there and then. Right now, I will be at home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
topic, yeah. You have yeah, to be but very you careful. See, see, I know you guys are mothers, so you're taking the soft approach, but no, I would like yeah. to be the B on this scenario. Mm-hmm. Don't your child better not come over, you know, over to me and be punching my boobs because exactly. you might get that reactionary hand because mm-hmm. You know, for people who don't have kids, I don't think anybody would even intentionally hit a child, but it is just too rude and it's too shocking answers. and too um, deserving of that reactionary. Yeah. Yes. So I think that we should all train our kids to know that what you do inside the house, exactly, yeah. you can't carry it outside. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Because my yeah. mom used to say something, tell something she's there in mm-hmm. Yoruba. Talk about yes. I don't even know. Yes. You don't know which is very true. It's true. They it's true. Right they'll teach you inside. They'll teach you outside. You outside. You outside. Yeah. outside. Yeah. So, and who wants to be embarrassed? Thank Keep you guys for chiming in. As usual, you can join Thank the you. conversation mm-hmm. by using the hashtag Chick Chat Live. Until next week, I will see you guys later. And then you can just click, 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 and click again. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to subscribe to the tribe. If you want to send us an email, our social media information is on the screen. Bye.